Hi everybody, it's Tom from FindTheBestCarPrice.com. This is the 2023 Jeep Grand Wagoneer. And it looks like it has a tremendous amount of cargo capacity. And it's not that it's hurting in that respect, but the numbers come in at 27.4 up to 94.2 cubic feet. And honestly, it looks like it's more than that. But Aside from what the numbers are or are not today, we're going to give you those numbers based on inches. I'm going to pull out the tape measure and measure everything here. Length, height, width, with the rear seats up, with the middle seats up, and with the rear and the middle seats both down. To show you what the maximum numbers are, let's get started. Width is going to be 50 inches right here. We're going to go to 34 inches when we go from the floor to the roof line right here. At least when you first get in, you're going to gain another three inches and go to 37 inches when you get into the area where the roof raises up a little bit. We're going to have 37 inches of depth when we go from where the rear door closes to the back seats right here with that in its upright position. And then we're going to have 68 inches when we measure from where the rear door closes to the top of the seat when it's folded down. If you measure all the way to that middle row seat, that's gonna be 74 inches. And last but not least, when we lower those middle row seats, we're gonna go from 100 inches from where the rear door closes to the top of the seat right there. And when we measure all the way to the driver's seat, that adds another 10 inches, 110. And obviously there are going to be some variations in that respect because that's gonna determine, well, where the seats are is gonna determine how much more extra space you have beyond the top of the seats right here. So that gives you an idea of what you have length, height, width with the 2023 Jeep Grand Wagoneer as far as your cargo capacity goes. To learn more about the model in today's video, visit the link in the description for a detailed comparison between trims and pricing for the vehicle we featured or any vehicle you may be interested in. These pages feature information such as our recommended trim level based on price, value, and features. Thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. We look forward to seeing you next time.